live hi guys hi this is Anlo speaking here I'm uh, in Doha welcome to this Qatar Airways Instagram live so many people joining us already wow it's so exciting can you spot where I am I told you I'm in Doha but I'm in a fabulous place look at that look at that Ta -da. and here any idea where I am I'm at the Altimama Stadium. Look at that. It's a, an incredible place. I'm very happy to be here. We're going to be joined by football legends, superstars. Uh, maybe you already know that the PSG team is here in Doha. Some, some of the players are going to join us in a few seconds. Hi, hi there. I can see you're sending so many mess messages. That's great. Um, let me call some friends yeah i have some friends to call <laughs> what do you think i'm not alone i told you i won't be alone for for this live so many surprises by the way you should um be you should select the Kada airways account if you're already following it keep that look at that look at that yeah, yeah. It's directly from paris france with Kada airways the official airline partner of paris saint germain kylian Mbappé. And Ashraf Hakimi. Oh, hi guys, I'm so happy to see you. Can you hear me well? I think you, you have the, the speaker in your hand, Kilian. Great. Where are perfect. you guys? Where are you guys? We are also in Qatar, in the stadium. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's education, city stadium. education City Stadium. What do you think of this stadium, guys? Yeah. Gini, is it, is it a nice one? Good one, huh? First impression is, is good. Good. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think it's so good to play here. What do you think? I think it's yeah. a good stadium. Oh, uh, yeah, we're all very excited. And you know what? We are not alone. We are not alone. Look who's coming in. Who is coming? Who is coming? Who is coming? Uh -huh. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> amazing feeling uh, Julian know what it is because he, he won before me but uh, it's it's a dream it's a dream uh, I was lucky to win um, my first World Cup so so now we come to Qatar to win the second one and I hope uh, we can do it uh, in November December yeah, it's December be because December December is the final because November is <laughs> I want to finish fast. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one, but guys, it's gonna be different. You're gonna be playing in new stadiums. Uh, how, how do you feel this World Cup is gonna be? Maybe Neymar, if you want to answer that one. If if anyone wants to answer in his own language, it's okay. Bueno, eh, increíble, ¿no? Jugar el Mundial y, y bueno, estar, estar eh, jugando estos partidos para nosotros es eh, lo mejor de, de nuestra vida, ¿no? Eh, bueno, aún no, no gané la, la Copa como como Drake, como Chile, pero es el sueño que, que tengo. 
y bueno, espero eso, compartir estos sueños, espero conseguir y llevar a, a Brasil la, la, la Copa. Ok, so Neymar is, is hoping to, to bring the, the World Cup to Brazil. Neymar speaking Spanish. You do whatever you want in that life. That's, that's the point. And you know what? Maybe you at home have no idea that you can already secure your seat. You can go on qatarairways.com slash FIFA 2022 and you can secure your seat through travel packages. That's very important because those stadiums are going to be full and we're going to go through so many emotions here. It's going to be crazy. Um, well, Kylian, Neymar seems to be pretty happy with, uh, with the way the Brazilian team is going. Can you ask the guys around you who they think will be the winner? Who's going to win the World Cup? Be careful of what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. We have a good national team in the in the World Cup, uh, like also Brazilian. Drasle with Alman is really really good. Danilo Portuguese French, of course, is the is the last champion. But uh, we are a lot of uh, good national team. I the World Cup is difficult to say one national team, so we will see. I have another teammate with me. What do you think? Yeah, yeah what uh, Haki just said. It's uh, difficult to say who's gonna win. Uh, because you have so many good teams who were playing in the World Cup and uh, so many good players. But, um, yeah, I hope the Netherlands is going to win, uh, of course. They'll be the first <laughs> one in history, so that will be nice. But, um, yeah, it's going to be difficult. You know what? The first team in Europe to qualify was his team. Great chance for Germany this time. Yeah, I mean, we had a big disappointment in the last World Cup. So uh, I know what it feels to win and to lose. And uh, I think this time in Qatar, we're going to go again for the title and we're going to do our best. Well. So they qualified first, but there is one guy who qualified almost at the very end. Danilo, <laughs> it was difficult to get to the qualifying. Well, finally, yeah, you're going to be in Qatar. So Portugal is happy. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be in Qatar finally. Uh, it was a difficult uh, qualification because we, we played the playoff. Uh, it's always difficult to, to, to be in the games like this uh, in playoffs because you never know what could happen. But uh, we, we were confident and uh, fortunately we, we could reach the, the World Cup. Yeah, which is a very good thing for the supporters. Danilo, Danilo, Danilo. Danilo. Danilo, you talk too much. Kylian <laughs> <laughs> hey, is not happy because Portugal is in the World Cup. <laughs> since, the, since the beginning, he was, he was telling me, he was telling me, hey, Portugal don't go to Qatar. <laughs> hey, what a teammate oh. I am. Huh? <laughs> that's not nice, Kylian. That's not oh, nice. No, 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 no. no, it's because because I want to win. I don't want the best team to go to the World Cup. It's normal. Kylian, yeah, you you win before. Now it's Brazil. <laughs> well, what Brazil about the supporters? Hundred percent Portugal. Out. Morocco. Out. He's already out. He's already out. France is already out. France is out. France. But Germany is coming. Final huh? against Brazil. <laughs> and then we. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Those stadiums are going to be full. The people are going to come here. So one important question, who has the best fans? Which country? Brazil. Morocco. Morocco. <laughs> Holland. <laughs> Morocco. Uh, so of course, they, they're all going to say their country. Their country. But Brazil. Brazil. But But I think I think Brazil and Portugal they are. Uh, yeah. They are the yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, Danilo. Go, <laughs> go. I think I think. We are used to the orange fans. We are used to the orange fans everywhere. They travel the world. So, is it going to be the yeah. same in Qatar? For sure, for sure. That's why I say. That's why I say the Netherlands have the best fans, and doesn't matter which sport if you look. Uh, Formula One, football, um, the Olympics, you will always see or orange fans, fans who come with orange shirts. So I think the Dutch fans uh, are the best. 
Yeah, but if I can say something, um, the security in the stadium is in orange too. So we don't know if it's the fan of the security. If I can say something. <laughs> if I can say something. <laughs> but I'm wearing blue, so maybe it's. Allez les bleus. Allez les bleus. Well, maybe we. We were mentioning the fans. Uh, I might remind all the fans who are following us today to follow the Instagram Qatar Airways. There are going to be many surprises in the coming days. Many, so I can't say anything because they said it's a surprise. And if you don't have your seat secure for this World Cup, you can go to QatarAirways.com slash FIFA 2022. And I mean, you have to do it very quickly. The, the World Cup is, uh, is coming. Maybe we can talk about some memories of the World Cup. Well, I, I won't ask your memories because Julian and Kilian, you're going to say when you got world champion. But watching a World Cup, what was your best memories? What is your best memories? Ginny, maybe? Me, Ashraf? Me, for me, I think uh, because also I was born in Spain and my friends from Spain. I remember when I see the, the World Cup 2010 when Iniesta score and everything. And after there, I don't know if I'm going to be in the professional team, but uh, there we celebrate like, uh, I hope one day to, to play the World Cup. And now I play second one and this is my dream. It was tough to get there, to get to qualify to, to the World Cup. Oh, I was talking to Ashraf, it's okay. Okay, yeah, you what what you can repeat because Killian is this guy is not, yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Killian is the master of the sound. No, I was saying it has been a bit difficult for, for Morocco. It was not an easy qualifying. No, it's not easy because in Africa when you have the group after you need to play two games to get qualification and now we qualify we do the classification really good so I are happy to be here in Qatar. Best memories? Me? Danilo? Uh, no, yeah, Danilo. Danilo, Danilo. Uh, me, I don't, I don't have that good memory because uh, last time in uh, last poly, no, last um, World Cup I got injury, so I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't be there, so it was, uh, it was a sad moment That's for me. Memory. Yeah, but maybe watching oh, the yeah. World Cup. In my WhatsApp? No, all, all the World Cup. Yeah. All the All the World Cup. Ah, all the World Cup. You know what? Cup. I, I want to say about a good memory from Portugal because you, you won against France in the Euro. So, I mean, it's balanced with yeah. your bad memory from World Cup. Yeah, I, we, we get used to it, to, to beat Killian, you know. But uh, <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> this is normal. But from World Cup, I don't, I don't have... This is normal. I don't have uh, one okay. specific... Uh, Maybe in a know. few, maybe in a few months. Best memory yeah, for you, not about your World Cup. Me, I enjoyed the World Cup in Germany in 2006. Oh, it was amazing. It was uh, like the first World Cup uh, I was lucky enough to follow. And, uh, yeah, Germany did a fantastic job. We we went to the semi-final, and uh, you know the the city. You know we are not famous for being warm and welcome always. But uh, in the summer, really, the, the world was more guests, and uh, I really enjoyed the atmosphere in the country. And that's why I really enjoyed it. And to be honest, it was a fabulous World Cup. Ginny, Kilian, your best memory? Uh, no, I when you sure. play. No. Okay. No, no, I think I will say the, the same like Draxler, because for the French, it was the last World Cup of Zidane. And everybody in France was crazy. Uh, he did an amazing World Cup. And fortunately, we didn't win, but but it was it was fun to watch. It was close, close. And Ginny? Well, um, you know, every World Cup is in Holland is good when, when we qualified because uh, the people in Holland love football. Uh, well, you can see that everyone is going outside, um, dressed in orange, and uh, or sit at a pub, sit at a restaurant, and trying to uh, watch the game together and uh, support the team. So, uh, what I can say about the World World Cups uh, in Holland is that they bring people together, and that, and that everyone is supporting the the country. So I only have good memories. If uh, Holland qualified for for a World Cup because it brings people together in the country. It is 
Okay. Hold on, I'm trying to add some people. I'm doing. I'm not a master. It is a good memory. Hold on. I don't want to talk about. Uh, you can say why. Well, you um, end. No, good because good we didn't. Memory for you. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about. Talk about no, I don't want to talk about. Oh wow, it's amazing to welcome football legends. So I really need to remind people that David Beckham was is a former England captain. It a legend is enough, I guess. You're a superstar. Thank you so much, David, for joining us. You're uh, you're in Qatar, right? I am in Qatar. Um, hey, hey, guys! Uh, it was very fun listening to all of that uh, discussion. Uh, and I think Eng- e- England have the best fans, by the way, by far. <laughs> 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 well, I don't, I don't know about that. Since we are, I mean, we are all with. I'm with PSG players, and you're a former PSG player, so maybe we can go down through memory lane and uh, maybe you can tell us about some memories from the time you were a PSG player. Ah, of course, you know, I have so many, I have so many great memories from being, uh, from being at PSG, you know, obviously it was the end of my career. So to finish my, my career in Paris, a city that I've always loved and a club that I've always respected, um, (coughs) I was only I was only uh, in PSG for a short time, um, but it felt like I was there for 10, 15 years because it's a real family. Um, I think when when you play for PSG, you're forever in their hearts, and I think that that was a special time for me. Um, you know, my my hundredth cap for my country for England was in France, was in Paris, and my last game in football was in Paris. So it's a special place for me. Well, you know what? I have to say it. I need a screenshot of that Instagram live on the Qatar Airways account because it's the first time in my life I was so many superstars on an Instagram live. That's an amazing moment. Uh, David, how do you see this, this World Cup? We were talking with, uh, obviously, Neymar wants reserved to be world champion. Kylian is almost through France. is going to be world champion. How do you see this World Cup? I think it's going to be one of the most exciting World Cups, to be honest. Um, I wish I was still playing. Obviously, that happened a long time ago now. I've been retired for almost 10 years. Um, And I wish I was still playing because I think it's set up for an amazing World Cup. You know, for the players, there's no travel. The weather conditions is going to be perfect. As you see, the stadiums and the facilities are incredible. So, for a player, it's going to be amazing. But... For a fan, it's going to be even better as well. So I really wish I was still playing and listening to all of the guys speak and and say about their memories and what they're looking forward to. It makes me actually quite jealous, actually. <laughs> um, Kilian Ashcroft, Jeannie, can you can you tell us about the way you're already preparing for this World Cup? What? Are you prepared for this? How are you prepared? How? Yeah. How? Yes, um, no, no, me, I don't, I can't, I can't, oh, yeah, yeah. no, we are preparing now, we have uh, a friendly games now in June, uh, so we're going to prepare the, the World Cup and to do the best games to prepare the World Cup. <laughs> no, me, I think it will be different uh, because it's the first time uh, the World Cup is not in the summer. So I think it will be different because we will start the season in the club. Uh, we're going to start the season and we, we will have a break. And after we're going to be focused already in the World Cup, so it will be different. Maybe we'll be fit to play and we don't need too much preparation because we play already in the club. But we're going to see because it's new for, for us. Uh, it's, a, it's a new new thing. So we're going to be ready because it, you have always to be ready when you play the World Cup, but it's different. Um, yeah, I agree with Kilian. It's of course a different setup than uh, the one we used to in the summer. Um, so we have to see and have to look how how the preparation will go. But I think every team who has already qualified is preparing now for the World Cup and uh, style of playing, style of how they're gonna uh, deal with situations during the World Cup because. Um, 
for what I know to now is that you only have, I think, one or two weeks before the World Cup, where it's normally five or four. Yeah, it's going to be five. So, uh, yeah, so no, so it's going to be uh, different than, than before, but I think everyone has, has to adjust to the situation and start basically now with the pairing. Uh, Danilo Neymar, um, the guys mentioned the fact that it's going to, the, the conditions, uh, are going to be almost perfect. I mean, it's going to be during the winter, but the weather is going to be great. Does that make a difference for you? Yeah, I think uh, I think to make a difference because uh, it's not in the summer. Uh, even if here is uh, is a little bit different the the climatization, but uh, I think the, it will be it will be perfect to, to play football. Yeah, to play football. Yeah, for have travel. Yeah, you're going to have better. to travel a lot, so I think it's perfect for us because of the, the uh, we have to, we have some time to rest, to, to recover, and this is perfect. Yeah, this is, this is going to be good. And you know what, uh, Neymar, the Brazilian fans, they can secure their seat. I mean, you seem to be pretty sure that uh, Brazil has a good chance to win this World Cup. They can secure their seat, they can... They can go to the to the website kataairways.com slash FIFA 2022 and secure their seat and their travel. They have Qatar Airways uh, great travel packages. They have to rush because I mean the the stadiums are going to be full, so they have to rush from Brazil to support you. Yeah, of course, of course. The, the, the people coming. <laughs> we feel Qatar, no? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna yeah. they're gonna come yeah. here. Yeah. Well, we are here. It, this place is amazing. We're going to have a World Cup, not in the summer. We're going to have a World Cup in the winter. The, the weather is going to be great. I mean, for you guys, the conditions are perfect for this World Cup. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look around <laughs> here, the stadium is already finished and uh, uh, the pitch already looks perfect. And yeah. we are still six months away from the World Cup. I mean, that shows how much everybody is waiting for the World Cup. Here, yeah, people are excited. We are excited. Uh, no, I don't talk a lot, but like we have said, we came here. I would like to wish. I would like to wish another penalty shootout, uh, England Germany. <laughs> what do you think about that, David? <laughs> we'll see. It's been quite a good rivalry over the years. So. Um, yeah, I wish I was playing in that. I would love to be playing against Germany again. We had a lot of great games over the years, and uh, if it happens again, it's always special for the fans and the players. So, guys, before we end this Instagram Live, I would have stayed here forever, but we can't. Uh, can you send a message to your fans, maybe in your own language? We're going to have so many languages. I love it. Who's going to begin? Who wants to begin? Danilo. Brasil. 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 Um abraço para vocês. Tamo junto. Vamos fazer na Copa do Mundo. Vamos torcer pela seleção brasileira. Vai dar tudo certo. E vamos ganhar do Portugal. Vamos ganhar de todo mundo. É, para todos, para todos os fãs portugueses. É, espero que estejam aqui em Porto, no Catar. Que nos apoiem. Nós, Portugal. E vai correr tudo bem e vamos dar o nosso máximo também para, para conseguir ganhar os jogos. Obrigado e força. É, lá, vou te engolir, Magar vai caminhar com o Morana, vai vir o Castelhal a Mziana. Socrates. Alô, Ronnie Fens, eu sou o Leis Vili Kilian, Fainer Reins Fens na Catar, e depois eu vou dizer que eu vou fazer o que eu vou fazer, o que eu vou Team steunen en uh, hoop ik dat we het tot een goede eind kunnen brengen. Uh, à tous les Français et Français, on se donne rendez-vous au Qatar. Voilà, on va prendre beaucoup de plaisir. Tout est tout est réuni pour marquer l'histoire et et gagner cette Coupe du Monde. Donc à bientôt. Liebe Fans in Deutschland, wir brauchen euch hier in Qatar. Die letzte WM war nicht unsere WM, aber diese WM wird auf jeden Fall super und deswegen kommt alle nach Qatar und unterstützt. <lacht> You know what, David? I love that. I love everybody speaking their own languages, so we are just missing English. So to the English fans... Well, to all the England fans out there, Qatar is going to be a special World Cup. Our players are going to head here um, in a few months, and it's going to be an exciting time. It's set up for the perfect World Cup for all fans and all players, um, but obviously 
England fans are going to come here and they're going to have a great time and they're going to watch some great games. So enjoy it. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, to the fans who are following, following us, thank you so much. I just remind you that you can secure your seat and travel through um, Qatar Airways travel packages. You can go to the site QatarAirways.com slash FIFA 2022. You have to come here. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to all of you who were watching us. And thank you, guys. Whoa! And it's over. Mwah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, la, la.